We're now at the Dior part of the uh, gallery. Um, we just ran into one of Ollie's mates who happens to be a security guard here and said, hey, do you guys want to come into the Dior part for free? And we're like, uh, yeah. So here we are. Christian Dior was a designer, entrepreneur, and visionary who made a lasting impact on mid 20th century fashion and culture. Founding his couture house at age 41 in December 1946 and presenting his first collection in February of 1947. Dior reinvigorated an ailing post war French fashion industry. His new look transformed how women dressed, introducing a silhouette comprising of rounded shoulders, exaggerated padded hips, and full skirts made with an abundance of fabric. It is still one of the most recognisable styles in the history of fashion. Overseeing his enterprise until his death in 1957, Dior created a couture house whose global reach and relevance is still felt today. In celebration of the house's 70th anniversary, the House of Dior, 70 years of haute couture, presents more than 140 garments from the Christian Dior couture design. Showcasing the rich history of the fashion house, this exhibition considers Christian Dior's early influences, the design code synonymous with Dior, and the legacies of its six successive designers. Yves Saint Laurent, Marc Bohan, Jean-Franco Ferrer, Jean Galliano, Raph Simmons, and Maria Grazia Ciuri. Christian Dior was born into a comfortable middle-class family in 1905 in Granville, a seaside town on the coast of Normandy, France. At the age of five, his family relocated to Paris, where as a young man, Dior developed an interest in architecture and art. Initially studying political science to appease his parents, Dior eventually persuaded them to provide financial backing for a contemporary art gallery, which he established in partnership with good friend Jacques Bourgeon. While this enterprise was short-lived, Dior opened a second art gallery with Pierre Collet in the early 1930s, further developing creative connections with Salvador Dali and Christian Barard that remained key throughout his life. For Dior, the 1920s were punctuated by periods of military service and family misfortune, including the deaths of his brother and mother, and the loss of the family business. Without an income, Dior was encouraged by a friend to try his hand at fashion sketching. Stints as a fashion illustrator for local couturiers, milliners and newspapers soon followed. And in 1938, Dior was hired as a design assistant for fashion house Robert Piget. By the time the war was over, Dior was employed as a designer at Lucien Lelong, the largest and most prestigious couture house in Paris. In its first decade under founder and creative director Christian Dior, the House of Dior achieved international acclaim and global influence. When Dior died suddenly in 1957, there was considerable speculation about the fate of the house. Yet from the tenureship of Christian Dior's first successor, a young Yes Saint Laurent, to that of the latest designer, Maria Grazia Ciuri, the house has remained a leading force in the world of couture. To Dior's established codes of femininity and luxury, each creative director has added their own distinctive inflection, ensuring relevance and evolution in balance with tradition and heritage. With every collection, Christian Dior introduced a new line, silhouette and series of themes, establishing a repertoire of design codes that are now synonymous with the house. Revisited and recalibrated since his death, these codes were critical to Dior's creative vocabulary and have endured as part of the language of the house as expressed by subsequent creative directors. Four codes key to Dior and his legacy are estimated in this room. The new look, the line, the flower, and the 18th century. The House of Dior has long been synonymous with dramatic evening dresses and sweeping ball gowns made from metres of sumptuous cloth and featuring intricate beading and decadent embroidery. These magnificent gowns have become red carpet staples, the pinnacle of haute couture brilliance and a unique showcase for the many specialised skills and crafts that make Parisian couture unique. Throughout the 70 year history of the house, 
Dior has produced some of the world's most memorable gowns, perfect for making a grand entrance or dazzling with elegant luxury. From the ballroom elegance of the 1950s and the statement dressing of the 1980s to the theatricality of Galliano and the fluid femininity of Chiudi, the House of Dior's designs continue to satisfy clients' desires for impactful glamour. Playing with volume and form, each of the Dior designers has worked with velvet, brocade, satin, taffeta, sequins and lace, with each piece skillfully embellished with beading, sequins and metallic thread to reveal the transformative power of dressing up. Holly, how was your birthday? Yeah, birthday was good. Nice chill day down at NGV to see all the exhibitions over there. Just driving home now to go get ready for pre drinks to head out tonight. Yeah, it should be pretty fun. Should be uh, an interesting night. What, what did you reckon of the uh, exhibits we saw? Yeah, good. good. Very good. The, um, yeah, they're insane. The exhibitions, like, besides being crowded as they always are, it was good. They were The artwork was awesome, and the colouring of the artwork was insane. Uh, I'm just yeah, wishing for less people, but that's always a hard thing to do. Yeah, I think it's uh, pretty safe to say that we were both uh, quite surprised by the Dior exhibit. Um, we, you know, kind of went in thinking, oh yeah, we'll go in for free, we may as well see what it's all about. And we got in there and it was actually really glamorous and really interesting to see. Um, what are your thoughts on that, Olga, as opposed to your original uh, thoughts on it? Like it was good, it was, it was good. It was, it's not usually the type of thing I go to see. I usually go to see um, normal kind of artwork or photography work, but yeah, we got the opportunity to go go into that one for free uh, for a friend of mine, so I thought, take it, it was it was good. Like, it's usually not what I go to see, but it was good, I was impressed, especially with the layout and everything, and like how they actually presented it all, it was amazing. 